morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Jason Steiger. I teach in the math department here, Algebra 1 and Financial Algebra. What I'm, the goal of this video right now is to kind of show you guys how to log into Alex and some of the basic navigation behind it. So the first step you want to do is go to our website, which is husd.org. That's the main site. We are a single login school. So what that means is everybody goes to the same login. So when you get logged in here, you would scroll down until you get to, on the blue uh, bars here, you will see Math Curriculum Student Login. All right, you click on this, and then it should open a separate window where you would sign in. Now, for everybody else, this is what you would actually put in there. Okay, now, you would put your first name, dot last name, at students, make sure you put an S at the end of that, dot H-O-S-D dot org. This is the exact same way you would also log into office.com. Okay, so you're gonna use these exact same steps just at office.com, just in case you ever forget. All right, so you've hit here, and then you would hit next. All right, the next step would be to actually make sure that you have the right username here, that it is yours, especially if you have a sibling that you're with that you guys don't use the same account because you use your own unique ID. And then you would put in your password, okay? And your password is going to be capital letter S dot zero zero, and sorry, my S's look like a five, and then you put your student ID. So all of your student IDs, uh, five digits, okay? So you would just fill in the five digit student ID here. So whatever the number that would be, one, two, three, four, five, and then you would hit sign in. Now this can apply also if you are a parent or a guardian and you wanna sign in using your student's account, you can do the exact same thing to check out Father and Work. All right, this should be the next screen that you see. And now the big thing I wanna make sure you understand is that if you are the only one using your computer, you can go ahead and click this box right here and it'll keep you signed in so you don't have to repeat this step repeatedly. If you have younger siblings or older siblings who are also going to be using this system and you're sharing the same computer, please do not click this box, okay? Because what will happen is, is that you will always log into your brother's and sister's account um, or your sibling that is with or whoever you're living with and then what will happen is you'll have to sign out of the account every single time. If you're using it and you're the only one using this computer, click this box, hit yes. If you are sharing a device, please make sure you hit no at this time and then you go from there. All right, the next step, ladies and gentlemen, is to kind of see this process here. And what I can't show you is what was at the very top of this, which is there is a drop-down box that for, if you are a freshman coming into Williamsfield High School, will still probably say Cooley Middle School, or if you came from Sossaman, Sossaman Middle School. And then what you guys have to do is make sure you change the drop-down box to Williamsfield High School, and then your classes should populate. Now, the next thing you want to verify is on your student view account, okay? Um, or with your teacher. Please make sure you're in the right class because we will actually have on here your first and second semester class. So you wanna make sure you understand that you're only working in the first semester class. And some of you also may have schedule changes. And so what you also wanna do is please make sure through your student view account, you will see Algebra 1 and then it should have a class code and you wanna match it up with here. If you have any questions with that, please make sure you see your teacher because that is also relevant in geometry, especially this year, and in Algebra 2, okay? And then what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is click this launch button. All right, from here, everybody, this is a cool site. So what you're going to be doing is everybody this year, I believe in Algebra 1, will see a take the tools tutorial. If you're in a different class, you may not have this and you may show up to your sandbox right away. What I want you guys to do is start on this tutorial work through it and finish it. If you already are familiar with Alex, then you can skip it, okay? But this is the next step, so I wanna make sure you guys understand the whole process. All right, the next step, guys, is to see this cool knowledge check come up. You're gonna most likely have to do it. Now, some of you may not see this knowledge check, but instead you will skip to the next page I will show you in a bit. If you do have the knowledge check, please go ahead and start it um, by clicking on the start, and then it'll have you step-by-step -step instructions, and please follow the directions, okay? Try not to use a calculator. If you have to use scratch paper, do that, because the key is we want to know what you know, and not a guess, and not a, well, we're not sure, but we really want to know what you know, because that helps us 
All right, so this is my student view, and this is kind of what a knowledge check will look like for you guys. So please make sure that as you're going along that you follow the directions. If you don't know something, please make sure you click I don't know. All right, try not to click I don't know on everything, but if you really don't know it, then that's okay. That's what we're trying to find out here. Okay, so what you'd want to do is, and it'll tell you when to use a calculator, when it appears, when not, and this is with every student thing that you have, and then you have questions, okay, where you would solve for A on a certain variable, see if you guys can do it. Now I'm going to skip my knowledge check here and I'm going to give myself a moderate knowledge of algebra. So now I'm done, it says nice job. Now a moderate amount is 295 topics, which is a lot, but I want to make sure you guys understand where we're all sitting, okay? So it will give you a pie chart when you're done and it'll look kind of nice like that and then you go from there. Now what it's going to do is it'll have start my path, okay? So two different things and this is what's going to happen with you guys. One of the things I want to make sure you understand is, is that when we talk about doing Alex topics on a weekly basis for some of our classes, you're going to want to do Start My Path. On the left hand side, you will also see what's up next or working towards. You will have assignments popping up on the left. So if you have homework that your teachers have created for you, they will show up here. There's also a drop down box here that can go to assignments. Okay. That's the key thing going forward, is making sure you guys understand, well, I don't know where to find my homework assignments. They're all gonna be here on the left once you get to the home page. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your teachers and they'll be able to help you some more. Our goal this year is to make sure that you guys can uh, perform smoothly and quickly and efficiently. And if you have any questions about how to get onto Alex or how to even get on Office, please make sure you reach out to your teachers. Good luck this year, and I know it's going to be a fun time.